So hello everyone, welcome to our G classroom. So today we will be performing the preparation of intradermal and intermuscular injection. So but before that, we need the following. So I have here the medicine ticket. So as our basis, so I just transcribed it from the physician's order sheet. So it's written here, Ceftriaxone 500 milligram. I am now after negative skin test. So the ceftriaxone is right here. So this is my antibiotic to be skin tested. And later, if there's no reaction or there's uh, a negative skin test, then I can give it to my patient intramuscularly as ordered. So of course, we will be needing a diluent for us to dilute the antibiotic. So we have here sterile water for injection. So enable us to withdraw the medicine. We will be needing this aspirating needle this is gauge 19 we have also here the syringe 3 ml syringe together with 23 gauge needle so it's right here and for our skin test so this is 1 ml tuberculin syringe which is 25 gauge all right so also we have cotton swab for us to disinfect our vials and also, we can use this as well in disinfecting the area to be skin tested and also the area to be uh, injected somewhere in deltoid. So, these are the materials. And I have here also the gauze pad. This is 4x4 four four in case that the patient has a bleeding tendency after the intramuscular injection. And right here, I have my uh, antiseptic solution in order for me to do the hand hygiene. So I will now do the hand hygiene. So I will be proceeding now to the preparation of the medicine. So before I give an intramuscular injection as ordered by the doctor, I will be needing to do the skin testing first. So for me to do that, I need to dilute the antibiotic. So I will use my 3 ml syringe uh, so that I could dilute. So it's open already. So make sure that I need to change the needle from the administering needle to the to the aspirating needle. So I will just open this. All right. So I opened already my aspirating needle to be used for uh, to be attached in my 3 ml syringe. Okay. So I will now. All right, so it's already locked. So I will be needing this one as uh, as my deal you went. So I will withdraw uh, three ml because this is a three ml syringe. So you need to do it aseptically. All right. So I'm just removing the air, and I will I will open the the medicine that I will be diluting. So you can cover this one using the scooping method. And I need to do it, uh, the, the swab. So I will dispose this one. I clean it already. So we use our uh, cotton swab once. And uh, I will be giving the... So now I need to uh, dilute the medicine. 
using our palm no, in rolling motion. So we need to dilute the medicine. Do not shake, just draw it on your palm. So now that I diluted this one already, I can proceed now to the uh, preparation of my uh, skin testing. So I will do it intradermally. So I'll just I just get my uh, my barrel for that one. Okay, and then uh, for this one, I will be needing another uh, another aspirating needle. Assuming that I obtain a new aspirating needle. So, assuming that this one is another aspirating needle. And, uh, assuming that I did not use it earlier. So, this one is a new one, for example. So, I need to get a daily event. So, supposedly in your RD, you will be needing a, a vial like this for your uh, return demonstration so the the sterile water should be uh, obtained from the from the vial but since for the purpose of having the preparation um, assuming that this one is a vial as well so in the vial you need to to give 0 0.9 0 0.9 of water right so you need a 0.9 of water so you need to inject there but since this is not a vial so I will not inject air. So I need point nine ML point nine ML. I need to remove the air. And it's going up. I need to make sure that that I need point nine. So it's point eight. So I should be getting another one to make it complete. So it's 0.9 already. And then I need to get 0.1 from the medicine that I will be will be using for skin testing. So I disinfected this one already earlier. And I will be getting point point one. Alright, so I already obtained the point one. So making it one ml. Uh, return the cover. I pull this down so that the medicine from the syringe will be will go here, and uh, I will just set this aside. So I will be using this one as my uh, syringe for. So I will be using this one, the needle, for my uh, skin test. And I will remove the air. Alright, so you can do the mixing as well. So just like that, you need to roll it on your palm again to mix the the point one of the medicine to the point nine diluent. So I am ready for my skin test. So you can return the cover if you want to because you will go to the bedside of your patient. So this one will be used for your skin testing. All right. So uh, that's it for the skin testing. Now, you need also to prepare for your intramuscular injection later on. So, after you do the skin testing to your patient, you need to write here if it is negative skin test. So, if it is negative, then you can give the medicine to your patient. So, 
we need to prepare this one as well. Using the aspirating needle that we, we used earlier, we can still reuse this one in uh, getting the medicine that we will be preparing. So, that one, I, I, re, I attached the aspirating needle already. And then, uh, I will be needing 3 ml, the... I will be needing 3 ml of medicine so I will be injecting so after that I disinfected this already earlier so I need to inject the air and need to withdraw so as you can see Alright, so as you can see, I already obtained all the, the medicine. So, uh, for me to prepare it, I need to return the original or the administering needle, which is the gauge 23. So, I will do the, the scooping so that I could remove the aspirating needle. So, this one, I will... Dispose it to the part punctured roof container and I am ready So this is my needle It's still sterile inside so I will attach it So make sure that you do it aseptically and will dispose it if you will not use it And I need to expel the air so you can tap that one and So it's either either you do it that way that uh, it's closed or you can still do it open so it's up to you so I will not recut because I will do this morning. all right so I'm ready later on if I find out after 30 minutes that the skin test is negative so I should give it intramuscularly after 30 minutes. So you can still secure the this one. This which means that you prepared the ceftriaxone. So this would be according to hospital policy. If you want to to place the vial, even if it's empty already, just to be sure that the medicine is really ceftriaxone. So you are now good to go for your intradermal injection using this one now remember that uh, it may vary because we use the the plastic vial uh, in this video but the technique we utilize here in getting the the solution or getting the medicine is, is still applicable if your source of sterile water for injection is coming from the vial so don't forget to to sanitize disinfect using the cotton ball with alcohol and then you inject air after you inject air you withdraw yeah after you inject the air uh, according to the amount that you will be needing for intramuscular let's say earlier I injected 3 ml because I need 3 ml of the solution so I injected 3 ml of air and then I withdraw it from the vial and here it's it's now ready to be administered later. so that's it thank you I hope you learned something tonight bye